And welcome back to City Skylines with Mr. Jokey. It's time to play. This is exactly where we left off last time, right in front of Belmont Park High, where cheerleaders have new outfits that say specifically what school they go to. Because nobody can be mistaken since there's only one high school in our little town. Uh, or unfortunately, our places need much more workers than they have, which is not good because that might lead to bankruptcy. Let me unpause the game and what's up today today we're gonna build a second neighborhood and we're gonna expand our industry to the other side of the river and create sort of an, an, an industrial complex right next to the highway and on the river one thing that I'm really excited about that I'm really looking forward to I hope that we're gonna get there quick at 11,000 population we can build a hydro power plant which basically should allow us to build a dam over the river in a suitable location. Now I obviously don't know where the suitable location is because a hydro power plant, I mean come on, that thing's just gonna flood everything behind it. So, you know, I don't know how it works. This would be a nice location I imagine because there is a massive lake up there already. But I don't know. I don't know how this how this bit of the game works just yet. Oh, okay. abandoned building. Let's just bulldoze that one. And Let's, hmm, let's make sure that we get power by just putting the power lines over here and then knocking these down so we can build this road further and build this sort of second neighborhood over here. Um, I'm gonna start by just drafting these roads. I'm trying to, oh, you know what, actually? I'm gonna put a big road in the middle here. To make this another sort of highway out of the city in, into when we eventually buy this stuff. And then I'm gonna take this. Actually, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put the road down like this. Is that big enough? Is that roughly the same size as this? Let's see. Some form of measurement is required. It's a little bit shorter, I think. So I'm gonna make it go all the way here. Yeah. And we're gonna take this move it all the way up and then we're gonna bulldoze this bit see what happens and we're gonna put a little smidge like right there so we get most of this little corner and we're gonna build the uh, connection right there and over there and boom town at 2600 population we've unlocked a new s new area we can buy a new area we can build buses and we can specialize in ore industry we can also use recreational drugs if we so choose and enforce recycling and we've unlocked highway ramps and everything so that's good also a cemetery so let's build that after we're done with this neighborhood because we do need to take care of our deceased um or diseased. That's what we have hospitals for. Well, this is annoying. It, um... Like I said before, it is a bit crooked. So, it's causing issues with our zoning. But, let's just build it, see what happens. Deal with potential problems later. Bulldoze that bit. Probably bulldoze even this bit. It didn't really help that much. Probably all the same at this point. More roads. Like so. Oh, what is this? This is awkward. Well, never mind. Let's 
put a little bit of variation into our neighborhood. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. I don't think it's gonna happen as smoothly on the other side. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yep, just one square too wide. Um, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. It's not a problem. Um, let's put some pipe pitch down. Expand it a little bit here. And here. Ah. I want everything to be properly covered. Uh, this little bit is not covered by our water pipes. Whatever, though. The middle of the road is not covered. That's not good. That's not gonna do at all. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Um, power is gonna get there as soon as they start building around there. Um, let's build the cemetery. Not here because there's gonna be an intersection there. Let's put the road down just so we don't forget. Right there. Garbage, no, cemetery is what I'm building. Oh yeah, it covered the whole city. That's good. It does not have power. Why not? It does have power now. Um... The fire is raging down in our industrial district. And... Is that it? I think so. So let's put down some zones. Let's just use the fill bucket right now. Not here though. There, there, there. There, 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 there. Let's fill these as a commercial zones. We do need some commercial zones in your little neighborhoods because, I mean, you're not gonna drive these people 700 miles just to buy a piece of bread for breakfast. Right there. And right there. And we're gonna zone all this rest along this main highway. It's commercial. I think that is fairly standard. More residential right over here. Oh no, we need power! Chill out, you're gonna get power. And you're also gonna get healthcare. Yeah, good stuff, isn't it? And you're gonna get a fire hose. And a police station. And eventually, when we have the money for that, you're gonna get elementary school. Let me speed the time up. I don't understand why it keeps speeding down. I think it's... I think it is when you reach a new town level that it just pauses the game and then it starts... Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Oh no. We're using more power than we're making. That means only one thing. We need more power. But we have no money. What are we gonna do about it? I don't want to waste money on the wind turbine. That's not gonna do me any good, so I'm just gonna let it happen for a while. Hopefully the people aren't gonna go batshit crazy because of it. Mm -hmm. 
We need 19,000. That's 10 more thousand. Hopefully it's gonna happen quickly. Or quickish anyway. We don't want the city to become abandoned again. Abandoned building right there. Gonna break that down. We're almost there. We don't need a road. Squeeze in a service road over there. Yes, we can. And we will. There, and once this unlocks, we're gonna plop another power plant right there. Come on, hurry it up. 15,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power to the people. I hear you. I hear you. I know what the problem is and I'm working on fixing it. Don't leave. Everybody calm your shit. It's like massive exodus. Leaving by hundreds. Well, all they need to do is wait a few days for a new power plant to be built. And... on hurry up just a couple hundred there we go new power plant right there power to the people am I right or am I right I'm right now I could actually go and lower the budget but I'm making enough money that it's not necessary that's one of the things that's very interesting about this game that unlike other simula si building simulators, you don't actually have all that much money issues, you know? Usually it's like, you have to make a decision whether or not you're gonna build a new health center because that's just gonna cost you too much and ruin your entire budget, but in this game, it does not appear to be so. And I haven't even played with the taxes system yet, which I probably should. I should leave the residential on that, increase, our commercial and definitely increase our industrial because those fuckers are creating pollution and we don't want that in our town look at that ashes or whatever I don't even know what this is it's just nasty purple gray pollution shit this power plant is not getting enough coal why the hell not How's this looking anyhow? It's a bit of a... Bit of a gem, but I think less so than a traffic light, actually. So, how is our garbage? Landfill is 37% full. What is this? Not enough customers. Really? Well, then there's only one thing I can do about that. Can break this down. Make this residential zone. And then these guys are gonna have enough customers. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't have to worry about building these zones in the, in the neighborhood areas. Um, let me wall this up as another district, but let me fix this one first. So, paint. Like that. Easy does it. And then I'm going to start a new one right here. Just get the outline done. And then fill it up. No, let's just do it right away. As you can see, it kind of connects and creates this thick white line through the middle of the road. I'm not quite sure what that means. It either means that you haven't built it close enough to actually make a thin line, or it's just, you know, 
to let you know that that is not in any of the zones, which I think is ex actually what it is. And that's good, I don't really care that my road is not in anybody's neighborhood. It's actually a good thing, because then I can impose traffic restrictions on the zone without ruining the traffic on the main highway. Well, I say highway, it's not really a highway, it's just a... Bedford Heights. I'm just gonna leave the names as they are. There isn't really... I don't really have a problem with them at this point. Um, let me go and buy another square. I'm not quite sure which one. Um, let me put on the resource overview. See which one would be the best. There's some ore right there. There's fertility right there. Maybe I'll buy this one. Yeah, I'll buy this one. Ding. Let's go back down. See what's up. Buildings are burning. Bombs are flying, people are dying. Look at this. This is, I think, one of the most amazing things in, well, any game really, but a city building game for sure. This is my sewage pipe. I will unpause it and slow the game down to a basic speed. You can see it dumping just shit into the river and you can actually see the river being polluted. And, if I zoom out, you can see the pollution going all the way down. If I turn on, my, turn on my pollution map, you can actually track down the pollution in the water that I've caused. And it's amazing, I mean it's gross, yeah. I don't, I'm not particularly proud of dumping sewage into the river. There's not much I can do at this point, I need a water treatment plant, which will unlock at 16,000 people. See, yeah, I don't really want to pump raw sewage into the water. That's just... Okay, I'm not an environmental nut. Like, I'm not gonna blow your shoe up because you're not recycling. But, I do think that we should... We should behave when it comes to our environment. So I don't really want to pump sewage into the, into the water. So... I'm looking forward to building a water treatment plant and we're gonna have to probably destroy that thing and connect it in some special way to the treatment plant. But that's all for next time. Right now we're gonna end this episode with the view of a building on fire. I'm gonna turn it to a movie mode. Oh no! We need the ladders, the fire is blazing. Oh no, there's a little girl with a cat upstairs. Wait, no, it's a, it's a store. There's just a cat upstairs. Eh, it's all good, taking care of it. Alright, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and come back for more, because there will be more. It's time to play City Skylines with Mr. Jokey. I'm Mr. Jokey. Take care.